Hello everyone, my name is Justin Brapp, you're watching another episode of the Unboxing Authority. On this episode, we're going to show you how to navigate without a GPS on both the cell phone, computer, and with a regular map. The first thing is we are in Google Maps right now on an Android. And we got the first thing that you got to do, it's important, is make sure GPS is disabled. So there we have location is disabled right there. We can turn it on, we can turn it off. We don't want it on, okay? Find uh, your Google Maps app on your phone, open it up, this is where you start. First thing we got to do is find out where we want to go. And so you either need the address or the name of the business if it's on Google Maps on where you want to go. And if you've got data, you can search for where you want to go online. Um, we're not going to do that because it's already in uh, Google Maps, the places we want to go. So we're going to go to the post office. There it is. And it's in Pomeroy. That's the one we want to go to. Okay, now we need directions to that location. So we're going to go to directions, and we're going to put in our starting point. Now my starting point, I can put in my exact address of my house, or I can put in uh, USA Computer Tech, because that's where I am. So I'm going to put in USA Computer Tech, wherever you are, wherever the location is of where you are. Okay, so now we have directions. But what am I going to do with these? Well, there's a couple ways to deal with this before you start your trip. One is to hit steps and more. Steps and more is supposed to give you directions. It'll tell you that I'm supposed to head south on 24th Street towards Main Street Villard and turn right onto Main Street. And then the United States Post Office Service will be on the left um, as I'm going down Main Street after 0.9 miles. Okay. But to be honest, I like the map. Map is easier for me a lot of times to deal with. So to, to visualize this, because that seems to be the easiest way, we zoom into our map. And now we can see that this is our origin, and above us is State Street. Okay. As we go down, this is 24th Street. Now it's not showing. It's showing us 25th, and it's showing us 23rd. It is not there. Now it's showing the 24th Street. Okay. It's important to know that. So we're going to go south on 24th Street. And we are going to turn um, right from our perspective. From this perspective, it's left. But from our perspective, it's going to be right. And we're going to be heading down Main Street. Okay. And then once we get down to, and we'll find out just by looking. Let's take a look here. So we're going to go past Tony's Cafe. Whoa. Zooming in too far, but that's okay. We can, we can work with that. Um, okay. So here we have Main Street. And this street is 11th Street. So we're going to be looking for 11th Street on our left. And when we see 11th Street on our left, we'll know that the very next thing that we're going to see is going to be the United States Postal Service. Okay? So that is how you navigate um, without using um, a GPS on your phone. Now you can do this on your computer by going to maps.google.com and you can type in different places. But what if we want to add a route to our destination? What if we want to go uh, to Palmeray Foods or from the United States Post Office to Palmeray Foods? Well, we can do that too. So we'll go here and we'll back out of here and we'll say, well, we're already at the post office. So we want to go to Pomeroy Foods. And there it is. Okay, and, we, and it's the same process. So, um, what I would do is I would zoom in to the post office, and I would look at this, and I'd say, okay, there's the post office. I'm going to get back on Main Street, and I'm going to keep going down Main Street until I get to the place where I need to turn. And we can see here that that's 5th Street. So we see here that I need to turn left on 5th Street South. Okay, and then when I get to 5th Street South, um, it wants me to turn onto Columbia Street um, to get to Pomeroy Foods. And that's actually the best way to get there. But I don't actually have to turn on Columbia Street because Pomeroy Foods comes before Columbia Street. Um, I can actually just turn to the parking lot here. But you see on this map. Now, one thing that's really important to notice is that this is a one-way street. It's two one-way streets next to each other. And Google Maps is telling me to go the wrong direction. You can see by the arrow on the street that um, Google Maps is telling me to go down the left side of the road which is illegal okay 
Um, what we need to do instead, if we were going to do this, is we need to follow that arrow of direction of travel. So you always want to check um, before you go, even if you're not using a phone or a computer, even if you're using a regular map, um, you may run into one-way street issues, especially in bigger cities. So that's something you definitely need to take account of. Alright, I wanted to use a tripod for this and I wanted to use a map that the county has on their website, but I noticed that there was a lot of information missing and stuff that looked really strange on the county map and my tripod wasn't getting close enough to this table where I have the uh, map here. So that's why I'm doing it this way. So let's see if I can switch hands here. So basically we're going to do the same function that we did before on the phone. It might be a little trickier doing this. Um, so anyways, here's USA Computer Tech here. Okay, it's on 24th Street. And we know that USA Computer Tech is on 24th and State Street. And this is State Street. I had to write that on here because it wasn't printed on here. Um, that's one of the fun things about having a printed map is you can make changes to it. Now the lines were on here. They're on here, but they're very hard to see. So I decided to draw over them with a black pen, uh, you know, to make this usable. That is the benefit that the county map has over this map is it has black lines. Um, the printer just didn't do a very good job. The laser printer didn't do a good job printing this. Okay, so this is where we are, and we want to go to the post office, and we want to go to Palmary Foods. So how are we going to get there? Well, there's these amazing things called um, street signs. All right, it's starting to rain, so I have to be quick about this, but here's our map, and over there we see 24th Street, and we see State Street, where the, the yellow dot is there. So here we have a street sign. It tells us that this is State Street going this way is State Street and 24th Street is going this way. Now there's just one problem though. We don't know which way is north by just looking at that and the sun is uh, it's raining right now so we can't even see the sun so we don't know which way is north. So how are we going to figure that out? Here is another street sign. This one says 24th and Villard. Now 24th and Villard is also 24th and Main. And it's also 24th and Highway 12. This street is Main Street, Villard, and Highway 12. And we know that we're standing on 24th Street because the sign says 24th Street. So now that we know where we are now, we know that we're, we're where it says 24, okay? And we know that the yellow dot is where we just were. So we know now that we can orient our map up and down the street like this, knowing that the yellow dot is up there at that intersection, and we are standing at where it says 24 on the map because that is where Main Street goes left and right. So we know that way is north. And so what that tells us now, now that we got our map oriented the right direction, we know that if we want to get to our destinations, we're going to have to go down this street, 24 to Main Street, and we're going to have to turn right. And we're going to have to go that direction until we get over here where it says United States Post Office, which is 10th, you can see 10th Street is where it says United States Post Office. Okay, but the actual post office is between 10th and 11th. And then if we go down here, we want to go to Palmary Foods. We can see we're going to have to keep going down this street uh, until we get to Palmary Foods, which is at 5th Street, okay, where the 5 is. We turn the left there and we go to Palmary Foods. And that is how you navigate. This thing does not need batteries. It does need to be recharged as long as you can see it, as long as there's light on it and it's not soaked in rain. Why, you can use this. All right, so now we're gonna program our navigational computer here. Annabelle is my navigational computer. So what we're gonna do is we're starting here and we're gonna go down to Main Street and then we're gonna turn and we're gonna go to the post office and the post office is between 10th Street and 11th Street. So now I program my navigational computer to help me get there who's my who's in the seat next to me let's see how this works all right so there's this amazing thing right here called a mile marker let's see if i can get it in the the can there it is mile marker so this is mile marker 404 next to highway 12. you can also use these to navigate if you're using larger maps like highway maps and going up and down you're looking for exits and things like that um another thing we have another um street sign right here this one says 16th and main so now if we use that information we can turn to our navigation unit over here that's programmed and can you find 16 on the map can you see where it says 16th 
yes where we are we're at 16th and Main Street and that's what it says right there and and our navigational computers working it pointed right to where we were I didn't need a GPS and then can you put your finger there again on 16th look at that it's, it's, it's showing us where we are on the map and I didn't have to use a smartphone or a computer or anything it's amazing so now based upon that information and knowing that we have to continue going this direction to get to the post offices between 9th and 10th let's see if we can count so we're gonna go we're at 16th we're gonna go 15 14 13 12 11 10 and we're gonna be at the post office so let's use our zooming from our camera here to figure this out so we've got a street sign and it's right there and it says 15th look at that isn't that amazing so it goes from 16 to 15 the next one should be 14 and it's right down there and you can probably see it yeah it says 14 right and then there's a big semi truck okay let's okay now there's another sign down there that's the next one because we skipped a street and that should be 12th street right there now there's no sign there so we might lose our minds but um, there's no sign on uh, on 11th or 10th or whatever that is yet yeah, 11th street but there is on 12th so what do you think that building right there is behind that sign could that be the post office we're going to find out all right so right in front of us is 11th and main and if we look backwards we'll see ah, we'll see that there's a street sign somewhere there this says 12th and main i can't really see it right now because um, of the angle I'm turning this camera. It's hard for me to see what I'm pointing at But it's there. I know because I weed past it. There's a street sign there. It says uh, 12th and Main. This one's 11th and Main. Okay, so then uh, Let's look on our map. So where's 11? Can you point? Oh my gosh, it's amazing technology Oh, but it went away. Can you point it? You put the finger back there? Yes, yeah, is amazing technology. It's called Annabelle and anyways so here's our post office here's where we are we're just about there aren't we and it's 10th street now 10th street um is as actually uh clear up there let's take a look now 10th street is too far okay 10th street is uh is up there 10th and main okay so could this possibly be look at that united states post office it's amazing and we did it using annabelle and a map isn't that amazing so now all we have to do is go up there and turn and we'll be at the post office. Okay, so we're back. Uh, we're at the post office now. We're there getting our mail. So we've got to figure out how we're going to get to the grocery store. Now, Grandma, Annabelle, can you put your finger on United States post office okay. on the map? There's a United States. See where? Okay. okay, look at that technology. Okay, and now Pomeroy Foods is over here. So now I need you to take your finger from here on 10th Street, 11th and 10th, and I need you to move it over here to Pomeroy Foods. Can you do that? Okay. Oh my goodness, it's, it's working. It's working. And that's how we get there. We can choose either street. We can go to Main Street or Columbia, and we can get there. And we know that we have to turn on 5th Street, because that's where it is. Okay, so we've been heading west, and where are we now? Oh, we made it to 6th and Columbia, which is probably some kind of evil, you know, 6 is bad, Columbia bad, whatever, I don't know. But there's the stop sign, okay, and we're going to continue to head east, but will that get us to Pomeroy Foods, the grocery store, so we don't starve to death? Uh, I don't know. So this is 6th right here, right? And Columbia's down here. Okay, you want to point there with the finger? You put your finger on where the 6 is. There you go. Okay, so we got to get from there to Pomeroy Foods, so we got to keep going, and we're going to turn right, and we're going to end up at Pomeroy Foods. Amazing technology. Now, we're going to see if we can find Pomeroy Foods once we get there, okay? Okay, so we went from here to here, up to here, and we turned. Did we find Pomeroy Foods? Well, let's see if we can find it. Oh, look at that up there. There's a big sign, and it says Pomeroy Foods. Isn't that amazing? I think that's amazing. Friendly service, fresh meat, uh, hot and cold deli and fresh produce. We're not going to starve. We use the Annabelle Navigator and, and, and the map. Now to get home, all we got to do is go back to Main Street and go back the way we came. We'll go east and we'll, when we see 24th Street, all we got to do is turn and go up and we'll see our house again. It'll make America great again, right? 
So, all right, we got great grandma too. She's great again too. Grandma makes navigation great again. There it is. You know, you used to have to use these GPSs and stuff, and now with grandma, we've made navigation great again. All right. All right, this is a road atlas. They're very expensive, but I got this one for free for being a customer of State Farm Insurance. Okay, so this one is from 2017, and it is now 2019, so unless someone moved the roads, created new roads, changed the names of the roads, put in new buildings, whatever, between now and then, this is going to be fine. Okay, so for most places in the war in the United States, this will be fine. So we want to use this to get somewhere. What are we going to do? No. Well, this is Alabama. We're not in Alabama. We're in Washington State. Now, this is alphabetical. So if you know the alphabet, you can find your state. So A is going to be in the beginning. So at the end, it's going to be W. So there's Q. Quebec. If this is another country, I don't know. Okay, so these are this is outside the United States. So we need to go back. So this is actually a world atlas. This is not just a United States atlas. That's kind of cool. So there's Ontario, Saskatchewan, British Columbia, Wyoming, Canada, Wisconsin. So Washington should be before this. West Virginia, because W A for Washington. Washington cities, Washington DC. About Washington oh, we are Washington City. So over here we have Spokane, Washington, most of Spokane. We have Bellingham, Washington. We have Central Seattle. We have Mount Rainier. We have Seattle Tacoma Valley. So these are zoomed in. So yes, this thing can zoom in just like your cell phone can. You see the the, the major cities, okay? So we're going to go over here. This is Washington State. So where are we at in Washington State? Well, we know we're on Highway 12 because Palmer is on Highway 12. And if we go out to the highway, we see that it's Highway 12. So where is Highway 12? Where does it start? Where does it end? Well, I see something says 26. I know there's a 12 somewhere. Let's see. Oh, look there. There's a 12. And um, there's a 12. So there we go. We city. Pataha City, Pomeroy, even small Pataha is there. And there's Clarkston and Lewiston where we go to get our stuff. So that we can't get in Pomeroy, right? And so there's Pomeroy, there's Dodge Junction, there's Dayton, Washington. Now if we want to get from here to Seattle or Spokane, it's really easy because we're here in Pomeroy. Spokane is up here, so how do we get there? Well, we can see that since Pomeroy is here, okay, and... Uh, and Spokane is up there. There's two good ways to get there. One is to go up 127 um, to 26 and go up 195 until we get to Spokane. The other way is to go um, east on Highway 12, go up to 195, which is from Lewiston, and then we can go up to uh, 272 and 195. Now it is longer, I believe, to go uh, the Lewiston route because uh, we're here, we're closer to Dodge Junction uh, than we are to Liston Clarkston, so it just makes more sense to go to Dodge Junction to get to Spokane. But what if we want to go uh, to Seattle, clear over here? Well, we see that is on I 90. I 90 comes down here, and Pomeroy is over here. So we want to use Interstate 90 to get to Pomeroy. So we can see here that if we exit off of 90 onto, onto 82, 97, we can come down this way through Richland, okay? And Richland will connect to, uh, to Walla Walla if we go down by Oregon, or we could go up by Eureka and Prescott and go through that way by Waitsburg, okay? And then that will take us to Highway 12, and we can go from Waitsburg on Highway 12 back to Pomeroy again right there. And if we want to estimate how far that distance is, there are guides, although, uh, yeah, there they are. Okay, so right here we have a guide that gives us distance, and that's for this little map. And this little map has a ruler that tells us distance. Um, I'm looking for one on this map. Okay, so over here we have um, a distance unit here. It tells us how to determine distance on roads, and it tells us that the highway distances of one mile or less are not shown 
uh, cumulative miles in red are the distance between red arrows. Okay, and intermediate miles black, uh, the distance between intersections and places. So the black numbers are the miles between intersections, and the red numbers are the miles between red arrows. So if we look at Pomeroy here, um, we're going to, and each map can be different. That's why it's important to read up there and find out. I haven't read that before in this one. So we have Dodge Junction here, that's a red arrow. It's close to Pomeroy, okay, and we want to find another red arrow so we can determine the distance between the two red arrows. We see a red arrow here and a red arrow to Dusty, and it's 26 miles between Dodge Junction and Dusty according to this number 26 that's on the map. Now I can zoom in to make all of that very helpful. So let's let's do that. So we're going to zoom in to our map, and you can do this with a magnifying glass too. Amazing technology, right? Okay. So we've zoomed into the Pomeroy Dusty Dodge area, and you can see that. Well, we could see that. I was, I was just about there. Okay. You can see the red 26 on the map right there, and there's a little arrow here and a little arrow here. It says 26 miles from Dodge to Dusty. However, I don't see any red arrows around Pomeroy. Um, and if I look over here by Clarkston, there's a red arrow. So it's telling me that it's 42 miles from Dodge to list to list in Clarkston over here between Liston and Clarkston so it's not telling us the distance from Pomeroy but it does give us a distance of 13 miles between uh, Dodge and the next intersection in Pomeroy so what we can do is we can subtract 13 from 42 and get an approximate distance uh, to Clarkston the other way as we see here with Pomeroy that there's 24 miles between uh, Pataha cities here with this this uh, road here and Clarkston okay but that doesn't account for the extra miles between Pomeroy and the end of Pataha here so anyways I hope that is helpful now if we wanted to go from here into Idaho we would have to flip pages alphabetically and find Idaho if we wanted to go down to Oregon we would have to look up Oregon all these kinds of things but remember What's really cool is when we flipped over here, we had all these cities, these extra major cities for, whoops, I think I went too many pages. Extra cities for Washington State here, right? And they're zoomed in. Well, when we go back to Washington State, it's the same thing. We see Olympia, Washington here. We see Yakima, Washington here, and we see Tri-Cities there. So these maps have a lot of useful information. And if I want another one, if I want to update this, all I have to do is go back to the State Farm Office and grab another map. And it should be a 2018 or 2019 map because it is 2019. So anyways, and of course, just so you know, and see this says United States, Canada, and Mexico. That's what this one covers. So America's number one road atlas, Rand, McNally. That's that's the uh, the road atlas here, and you can buy these on Amazon, eBay, wherever. Um, but like I said, they're usually very expensive. That's why I get them for free through State Farm. So, anyways, there you go. Thanks for watching the video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And just bless you. Please click the links in the description of the video. Consider to our Patreon. And go to ChristianCourse.com. Now remember, the Word of God, the Bible, is like a map for life. It's a map for life. Okay, because without the map. We don't know where we're going. We don't have anything to fall back. We can guess. We can look around in life. And we can try to figure things out. And we can ask people for directions. But without something that's hard and fixed, the Bible, to tell us where to go, we're going through life without a map. So just remember that. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for creating the universe and for um, knowing that because you created free will, people would choose evil. And so you sent yourself into the world as a man to die on the cross, to go to an illegal trial held at night, to be flogged, to dragged across, to be nailed to the cross, to die, to go to hell, and to raise to life again so that we would not have to go to hell, so that we would not have to be punished on, the, on this earth um, as long as we repent and come to salvation and baptize and follow you. Now, you did tell us that there would be persecution and bad things on this earth, but we, we thank you that you came to forgive us so we don't have to go to hell. And, and we don't have to burn in the lake of fire. And so we accept your forgiveness. We admit we're sinners. And we thank you, Lord. We pray for your Holy Spirit. We pray for you to lead us to be baptized if we haven't been already and to find a good church, even though there's no perfect church. We thank you that you'll help us find a good church. And uh, Lord, we pray 
that uh, you will help everyone to come back to you, to find salvation, to avoid judgment, and to be blessed. And we pray for those who will not come back to you, that only cause problems and torment, that you'll get them out of our way, that we won't have to um, be attacked anymore by that. We pray that, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is here in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Alright. So, in case you don't understand, because some people don't, when Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is finished. Okay, that means that he paid the price. So, when the judge comes to judge us on judgment day, Jesus pays the fine for our crimes by dying on the cross so that we don't have to. And we can go to eternal life. But we have to repent, which means we have to learn and follow God's laws, which you can learn at ChristianCourts.com. We have to, and we do it with God's help. So we have to ask for His forgiveness. We have to confess our sins, ask for His forgiveness, and to repent, we have to know God's laws and have to try to follow Him with His help. Okay? And if you break God's laws, it's okay as long as your heart's in the right place, as long as you're trying to follow God's laws and you've accepted His forgiveness and you come to forgiveness and, and you, you repent, you say, I'm sorry, God, and you do your best with God's help. Now, if you have an attitude of non-repentance that you don't have to follow God's laws um, and that you don't need to try to repent, then it's no good. Okay, you got to have a right heart. You got to have a right heart and an attitude um, to follow God. So we pray you do that. Thanks for watching the video. Bye. Do you want to learn to follow the commands of the Almighty One True God? If you do, go to ChristianCourts.com. There's a free PDF book you can download, audio book, and video where you can listen and learn God's laws. Make America great again. Help establish Christian law in communities all across the world. God bless you. Well, thanks for watching the video. Subscriber Chicks are here to tell you to make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe, and ring that bell. And that 4K videos are good for you. They're good for your health. The Unboxing Authority videos, you need to subscribe and watch them. And make sure you check out ChristianCourts.com, HowToBuildAMoped.com, How to Win in Court, which is all down in the description. And uh, make sure you check out the Blazing Hog 4G LT Internet. You get $49.99 off. You want to get the best internet for your livestock and your poultry, you know, so make sure you get the best for them. So Blazing Hog 4G LTE internet, that's what you need. All right, God bless you. Bye.